All right, moving into <laughs> New York Jets at New York Giants. Are the Giants the worst team in football right now? Well, with the QB situation like this, <laughs> certainly. If the QB situation, if we're accounting for, yeah, no, for sure. Like, where do we even start with this game, bro? I got a, I got a few things I want to say. I'm sure you got a few things. It's like, where do we even start? Because it's all bad. There's no, there's no good in the situation. No, no. And, and like, I think the most frustrating thing, if you really want to talk about it, is the fact that, and we talked about this last week, you paid Daniel Jones for what backups are doing. And I'm not saying Daniel Jones is as bad as Tyrod Taylor or Tommy DeVito, but... Oh, I'm saying Tyrod's playing better this year, though. Oh, he's playing better. But I'm saying, like, anybody in the situation is going to fail. So my thing is, why pay the quarterback if the situation is so bad that he can't even succeed? Usually, you pay the quarterback to uplift the situation. Daniel Jones is not that type of guy. So why pay the guy for three years? It wasn't, was it like, what, four? The, four. Four years? Yeah. Okay, four years. My bad. I do believe. No, I'll double check right now, but I'm almost certain. Uh, yeah, I think it was four years, 40 million or something like that. Or yeah, 160 exactly. million. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Four year. The, the situation is so bad. And honestly, no quarterback is making out of this. Like, I don't know. I, it's just like, why pay the guy if the backups can do the same thing? Yeah, oh, it's a joke. And unfortunately, uh, Brian Dable put himself into uh, an incredibly fireable situation. The whole, the whole Giants staff. It's like, that's another thing about the situation that's so rough is you're looking at the Giants now and it's like, oh man, like who is even going to still, you know, it's like besides our really young guys that are, st are stars on the team right now, who is even going to still be around in the next couple of years? Like talk about a full turnover situation looking like the Giants now. And I didn't think it was going to be like that. Again, we said they were due for a regression. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be like a clean house, worst team in the league potentially type situation. I really didn't. Again, I just want to start with like more than anything. This this is absolutely unbelievable. Twenty four punts, most in a game since two thousand three, and I'm surprised that even happened in two thousand three. Fuck, unbelievable! It even happened already. I thought for sure it was going to be a record when I looked it up. It, minus minus nine passing yards. Oh, it's least bad. in a game in NFL history. You're telling me these motherfuckers were throwing the ball around behind their back with a broken leg in nineteen thirty. And they were getting more yard passing yards a game. They didn't know how to defend it. It's like, dude, it's a joke. Actual Madden simulation game. It's just an actual. It's, I had actual note. It was a Madden simulation. This is like when you sim the game on like rookie mode, and you're going through the weeks, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, body. But it actually can happen. Sure as shit, it actually can happen. <laughs> I was like, if you want to talk about a positive thing, I guess Kayvon, Kayvon had three sacks. Yes, yes. If you're he, a Giants fan, you gotta love that. I think people were a little concerned about him coming into the game. No. Yeah. No, that's the thing is he kind of he was due for one of these games where he kind of had to show people up. Right. So if you're a Giants fan, you're going to love that. So are you as a Jets fan, as a Jets fan, not you, not personally, but are you at least. Oh, satisfied with how Zach Wilson has been playing on the offense like you knew he wasn't going to come out and ball out, but he's not losing you the game. No, definitely not. I'll say, though, this might. In a sense, this almost was like maybe the roughest Zach Wilson game ever. And hear me out, hear me out. Because it's like, I do think to an extent when you're, when you're in a situation where it's like, I mean, this, this is, uh, I mean, the, the Giants couldn't have been giving you the game more, right? And it's like, if you couldn't even go up by more than one possession before the last 20 seconds of the game, I mean, again, this is one of those games where it's like, who does it say more about? Right. Like, who really? I mean, if you're playing with a third string guy and you literally know they aren't going to pass the ball, you stuff them every single drive, basically, in the whole game, and you still can't go up even one possession or put any points up. It's it's really disturbing to an extent. And I know they put a lot of pressure on them. I not, again, I know the Giants defense played good, but the, it's it's uh it's rough. And again, you know me. I go back and forth with Zach. I've wanted Zach to be successful for so long, and it's it's obvious. I've been saying this for a while, but I'm objective. I mean, this, this might be the worst of the Zach Wilson games ever because this is the one where it's like, Dude, you literally did nothing. Yeah. Until the and I get he did when he had to. You gotta love that. That's kind of like was my but nothing. point in that. And it's like yeah. he, <laughs> like he he went down when he needed to and he won the game. But it's but also I mean it's like if he didn't then what the fuck are we saying right now? I mean, that's where it's like no no one's talking about it. It's like what is the, and I just the only positive thing I'll say about the judge from this game is Jermaine Johnson had two sacks. 
Kenny, you love seeing your own guys, you know, that you spent the high draft picks on doing work. If you're a Jets fan, you got to love that. But minus that, I mean, shit, what else do you take away from this game other than our defense has been the truth and it still is. <laughs> Zach Wilson has beaten the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles this year. That's the weirdest thing about the whole thing. That's crazy, but man. But again, it has, it, it's for, not him. For what it's you signed defense, up about, for, yeah. Yeah, for what you expected, though, and has, with, with A-Rod to have a chance to potentially come and, back and make you have a fighting chance, you can't ask for anything more. The, you, to, to answer the question objectively, though, yeah, you can't ask for anything more. Imagine the narrative, though, if they beat the Chiefs. Chiefs, Eagles, Buffalo. That's kind of impressive. But That's the thing. If anything, it's all about the. We know it's a testament to the defense more than anything. Yeah. And Salah. Got to give a shout out to Salah while I can. 